Hey everyone, this is Quakeman, doing another uh, news outlet thing. I, I don't know what to call these yet, since I have no real name. Just, I guess, voicing my opinions or whatever, my insights, again. <clears throat> Anyways, this one is about um, the announcement, but actually kind of not an announcement, but still it's considered an, an official announcement today, um, of the Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut for the Wii U. Now, I... I was kind of not shocked anymore that this was true um, after the whole rumors of the box art and everything popping up on Amazon and everything and then when it got taken down so quickly and Square Enix was like we don't comment on rumors yeah, and then they came out that it is true I'm kind of like why hide it anyways <laughs> like if we if we discovered something if we discover something that you're trying to hide out why don't you just go yeah you're right here you go and and not wait until like this sort of day to announce it. But besides the point, that's a little rant I can go on. So yeah, Day Six Human Revolution Director's Cut uh, for the Wii U um, is getting a, a gigantic boost for the um, for the Wii U system and as well for the game. And I'm gonna read this all off, and then I'm gonna voice my opinions about something because I've been playing it on the Xbox and the PC a lot. So <clears throat> first thing. New boss fights. We received a lot of feedback from fans regarding the boss fights after the launch of Deus Ex Human Revolution in 2011. So with your feedback in mind, we've completely redesigned them, including new maps, layouts, and new gameplay mechanics that support all the game's main pillars, hacking, stealth, and combat. The boss AI, damage, and health have also been tweaked for the boss best boss ba ah, best boss fights possible and if you are clever it's it's now possible to defeat a boss without firing a single bullet brand new features you've asked for it you've got it one of the huge um and this one is huge the director's cut features a brand new new game plus mode allowing you to replay the game from the beginning keeping jensen's augmentations from your last playthrough the ultimate power fantasy additionally a jensen has a sway swath I can't pronounce that word, W-A-T-H, um, S-W-A-T-H, a new tricks up the sleeves, including the ability to toss grenades back at his en enemies right from the Wii U gamepad, a rebalanced energy system, and a new, a brand new augmentation, the tactical pattern recognition system, which displays Jensen's view through the Wii U gamepad. Moving the gamepad around will uh, move Jensen's view in the same way, giving you extra previous information on his surrounding. As well as you expect from the director's cut, the Ultimate Deus Ex experience also features an approximate 8 hours of director's commentaries and 45 minutes of making of video. The official strategy guide is also included in the game and can be accessed through the Wii U gamepad Neural Hub at any time. Never miss a single Paraxis kit. The Wii U gamepad also brings some impressive new features, including the ability to record your very own info logs containing screenshots, voice recordings, drawings, or typed notes as you progress through the game. You can you can even share these personal info logs through the MiiUverse with your friends. And most impressively, you can now play Deus Ex Human Revolution entirely through the gamepad. No TV required. Um, there's also a bunch of other things they added, um, like the Missing Link DLC is now included within the game, as well as all the achievements from the first Missing Link, and some special, um, Wii U exclusive achievements are now in there. There is, uh, what else is there? Oh, there's more languages for the subtitles, um, the engine looks like it was remastered, as well as some of the features... So th th this has a lot of stuff they're doing to it. And I'm happy about this. I'm actually very happy with a lot of stuff they're doing for it. Especially, you know, the Wii U needs more some games. And seeing Day 6 Human Revolution being released on it, that's fantastic. I'm very fucking happy for that. Uh, but now the opinion that I want get, to uh, get to big time that I think a lot of people may be feeling the same way I am is this is a redesign. This is like a brand new game. You know, this isn't. This is a brand new human revolution. And again, and again, I don't want to feel like one of those down people about. Oh, it's being exclusive for. I mean, I'm not like I understand the Bayonetta two crap, but I won't get into that. But I would love to see them. Now, what I wanted them to do is release the Deus Ex director's cut on the Wii U. But then, after a month or maybe a couple weeks, I want them to release it on re-release it on either Xbox or PC mostly with these new mechanics. Now. I know I may be the only person or the major minority here, and I understand I've never finished the first day of sex, so I, I'm sorry if I'm a bit different when I voice this opinion, but I actually am okay with the boss fights in Human Revolution. 
Now, I understand that they do break the entire aesthetic of the entire game, as well as what the original Deus Ex does from what my friends tell me. And I understand that completely. But I look at it as like this. Jensen freaking lost his original life and got remade as an augmentation. He didn't choose for that, and he basically lost, or his girlfriend's still alive, I haven't finished it yet, uh, of his girlfriend Megan. He completely is angry with these people, and I understand why, too. And it makes sense to go after and kill them. I figure, I, I totally get that, really. But I understand completely that the boss fights completely do not feel like it's the, it's the rest of the game. You know, it just it feels like someone from, a, which is true, another developer person did the boss fights, and that's why it feels so out of place. I'm actually kind of okay with it. It doesn't break the game. It's a little awkward, I'll admit, but I think it's okay. But what I want them to do is not just patch Human Revolution, like for people like me or people who have the Steam account. I don't want people, I don't want them to just patch it. I want them to re-release it completely. And if they give us a free copy of it if we already bought the game, awesome. But if we have to rebuy it for probably 30 or $40, I cannot complain. I will not complain. More money to Ada's and uh, for Square Enix. They deserve the money for a game like this, especially since we may get a um, an HD version of Deus Ex. That's rumored, but I'm not going to say any more than that. Um, but I want them to keep them separate. It reminds me of the BFG edition system. Like, Doom 3 BFG edition has a revamp of the engine and redone of all these things, and you can have it separate. So, my Doom 3 and Resurrection Evil isn't tainted by that crap. It's not tainted with these stupid mechanics that I didn't want them in there in the first place. The stuff I grew up when I first played Doom 3 uh, back in the day, you know? And it's some weird using that term, but still. So I would love it if they were release a separation of it, where the like the director's cut is a version that if people haven't bought, sorry, I'm bourbon too much. Human Revolution now, um, the director's cut should include the human, uh, human missing link DLC as well as a bunch of other DLCs with the revamp of boss fights, augmentation stuff like that. Now, obviously, because um, it's the it's going to be on PC. Obviously, some of the Wii U exclusive stuff won't be there, like uh, the gamepad stuff and that augmentation. But at least they should keep the uh, the um, the commentary system and the making of video within the uh, director's cut version on Steam. Now that's just my thoughts. I, you know, I want to hear what you guys think about that yourself. For me, I want them to keep it separate. Uh, I, I don't really feel like they need to to update it or anything like that. I mean, I'm still trying to play through the game, and it kind of ruins the whole aesthetic sort of thing. But uh, that's just my opinion. Um, I think they should just re-release it as, you know, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Kind of like how they have the Fallout 3 and then the Game of the Year Edition stuff sort of aspect, if that makes any sense. Um, that's just my opinion. But other than that, this is fantastic. It was, I think it's great that Adios listened to the fan base and actually uh, started, revamped the entire system, it looks like, and uh, changed the boss fight, made it a little bit better. And did a bunch of other stuff. Now, again, for me, I still like the original version, but I, you know, I gotta say this version is pretty good. It's what I say with everything, I guess. <laughs> um, but if I had a Wii U, I definitely would pick up this day one. I mean, personally, Deus Ex Human Revolution is one of my favorite games to play right now. That I, that's why I have it on Xbox too. And if I got on PS3, I would get on PS3 as well. If I get on Wii U, Wii U definitely. I don't freaking care. Deus Ex Human Revolution makes a huge impact to me. And I really love this game. Now, I want to hear what you guys have to think, um, if you if you want to leave a comment or anything, about what you guys think about the whole uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut being on the Wii U. And there is nothing said about a PC or re-release system for the other consoles, but I think this will be fantastic if they do. That's just my opinion, though. Um, I want to hear what you guys think, and uh, other than that, I think I have nothing else to say. I'll leave the article that I read from down below, and uh, other than that, I guess that's all I can say. Really excited for this is coming from ADS, and I can't wait to see what happens in the future uh, with Deus Ex, because it's a beautiful franchise. Sorry for that long pause. Um, but you guys have a great day, and take care, and I'm done. <laughs> take care, everyone.